Lightning, thunder, strong wind, and hail. It's a severe thunderstorm warning, and chunks of ice are falling from the sky. Hail never looks this perfect, but this two-inch ice ball is what scientists at the State Farm Building Technology Research Center in Illinois use to simulate what happens when this gets hurled at your car. Uh, in this case, we're shooting a two-inch ice ball. We load it in the barrel, we pressurize it, and we stand back and hit the button. And how fast is this going to shoot? Uh, our target for a two-inch ice ball is 77 miles per hour. That's terminal velocity calculated uh, by the engineers as to what speed an ice ball, if you dropped it from way up in the sky, how fast it's going to come down and hit. We've installed this camera to show you what it's going to look like as that hail hits the car at 77 miles per hour. Two, one. Significant damage obviously made a dent in the entire side of the car. Right. In a typical hailstorm, you're not going to see damage on the side of your car so much as you are the top surfaces, but in this case, it's a good example of the type of dent that uh, a two inch ice ball is going to make in a car, and then picture those dents all over every horizontal surface on your car. This was the hood of your car or the roof of your car. And you can imagine just having dents all over the, the surface of the car, it's going to be some pretty bad damage. Something else to consider is you're shooting those absolutely perfect round right. two inch hail balls. When a hail comes down, it's jagged, it has lots of edges, so it's going to make a different appearance as well. Exactly. But same idea. Exactly. From the body of a car to the window, same speed, 77 miles per hour. The window doesn't break, so round two, about 90 miles per hour. The window still holds. It's important to point out that this isn't a standard test, but it's still surprising. During severe storms, hail not only pounds cars, but almost roofs. An impact resistant roof can save your home from water damage. This, there's really no damage to the roof, but what I noticed is on the impact, that hailstone basically went ahead and exploded on its own. We've got uh, the ice on here. It looks like we've got uh, maybe a slight indentation. But all in all, the material still looks pretty good. Um, no cracks, no holes. Most houses do not come with the standard. This is something you have to ask for when you're thinking of putting a new roof on. That's right. When you're shopping for roof shingles, it's something you specifically have to ask the contractor to look for.